On move 16, do you endorse the move knight f8 or would you prefer knight b6? I would prefer knight b6 just simply from the standpoint c4 looks like a very attracting landing spot. Like if I could land that square, I'd probably be happy. It feels like it's a very worthy location for multiple reasons. First, I kind of attack here a little bit. I mean, not really a major threat at the moment, but maybe at some point it may be. And I kind of retired this group of pieces entirely. The queen, the rook, and the knight, they just kind of became irrelevant because I placed myself in a way that blocks them. And, you know, if they take me and I take back with the b-pawn, uh, yes, I still do have that pawn on d5 that's kind of weak, but at the same time, I neutralize a very large group of pieces here that really cannot actively terrorize me anymore. Are you concerned so about the bishop being kind of awkwardly placed on b7? It's a temporary issue here the bishop is going to be a defender for a time being so we're going to think about him as a defender as opposed to poorly placed piece and my big player here this guy is probably going to come back here and here and then the queen is going to introduce itself from d6 forcing g3 once we force g3 then our light square bishop eventually going to be a big player so that's how i would look at this so i like knight b6 because it kind of appeals to me that it's easier understood move because i'm working on uh, making an outpost on c4 whereas on f8 i'm working towards the future future push of the d pawn maybe at some point because i can't really see what it would do on g6 that is particularly useful so bishop f3 bishop f3 you yeah, gave yeah. the thumbs up to that move in the previous game you said bishop f6 was good what's the difference here well the difference here is a very awkward position of the queen you've got that situation here so if d4 is attacked and pushed through the queen might be hit by knight from e6 coming to d4 quickly met of tactical situation